Hello everyone, uh, so as you probably know, it is Easter tomorrow, woo! So bring on the chocolate, I've already actually eaten an egg. Um, no, I probably shouldn't have eaten it, but you know, it's Easter tomorrow, I'm allowed to, we're allowed to eat chocolate. But um, I just decided to do a bit of an Easter kind of vlog thing, um, about Easter, because it's Easter tomorrow. Uh, so I am going to do some Easter facts save some Easter facts. So, the first Easter basket were made to look like bird's nest. Now, if you ever look at an actual Easter basket, you'll see that it does kind of look like a bird's nest. So that's true. Uh, the traditional act of painting eggs is called Pisanka. Pisanka. I'm sorry that I paused at the wrong moment then, but Pisanka. Um, so if you paint eggs, then you're doing Pisanka. Um, I probably shouldn't have paused at that. Uh, uh, the custom giving of eggs at Easter time has been traced back to Egyptians, Persians, Gauls, Greeks and Romans to whom the egg was a symbol of life. So that's one that I didn't know. Um, Easter bonnets are a, th are a throwback of the days when people denied themselves the pleasure of wearing fine angels for duration of Lent. Um, I'm not really sure if... Um, if I actually understand that. Uh, Americans celebrate Easter with a large Easter egg hunt on the White House lawn. How cool would that be if you just went to 10 Downing Street and they did that, but, you know. Every year at the Easter Pope, John Paul sent his Yerby et Orbi to the world. Uh, the date of Passover is ver... 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 as dependent on the phases of the moon and thus Easter is almost a movable feast. Now I don't get what any of that means. Um, so you can't really get me for that one. I really I really don't know. Uh, right, let's have a look. The Easter season begins on Easter day, at least 50 days ending on Pentecost. Pentecost cost something. Uh, what happens on Easter Sunday? It's an Easter... <coughs> It was Easter Sunday that Jesus rose from the dead. Uh, from the dead, uh, Jesus told his disciples before he was arrested that he was crucified. On the third day, he would rise from the dead. Uh, Sunday was the third day from Good Friday. Good Friday, Holy Saturday, Easter Sunday. Uh, the second after Good Friday. The second day after Good Friday. Wow. So obviously, Easter is not all about eggs, obviously, and it's not all about chocolate. It is about obviously about Jesus and stuff because that's why we celebrate Easter. Uh, in the UK, each child receives an average 8.8 .8 Easter eggs each year. I'm not sure how 8.8. .8. Do you have like eight of them and then just kind of like ah, uh, I get it. You have eight Easter eggs, then the point eight is probably from where your mum or your brothers or sisters have nicked a bit of your egg, so you got the point eight left of it. Um, sales at Easter time make up 10% of the UK chocolate spending for the whole year. A whole 10% on Easter. Uh, I bet the, I bet most of it's at Christmas probably because everyone loves a bit of chocolate at Christmas. Um, I know I do. I just love chocolate all year round really. Uh, the UK's first chocolate ever was produced in 1873 by Fries of Bristol. Uh, wow. So that was 1873, the first Easter egg in the UK was produced. In 2007, an egg covered the diamond, an egg covered in diamonds, uh, which is a picture that I'm viewing here, uh, sold almost 9 million. The egg is very special because every hour the cockerel makes, made of jewels pops from the top of the egg and flaps its wings four times, nods its head three times and makes a crow noise. Uh, so that's just an egg, that's not very much to um, do with Easter. The tallest chocolate Easter egg was made in Ita uh, Italy, Italy. Um, Italy in, in 2011, sorry I'm reading the time, uh, at 10.39 10 uh, 10 meters in height and 7,200 kilograms in weight. It was tallest that it was taller than a giraffe and heavier than an elephant. I've got a problem with reading. I seem to my eyes seem to move quicker than my brain can read. I'm not sure if it's the other way. I really don't know. Um, let's see if we can find any more. Right. I wonder why Easter eggs are used. I'm gonna go. Let's go on. Why are Easter eggs associated with Easter? 
let's have a look and see what the wiki says. Right, okay, Easter eggs are special. Eggs are often to celebrate Easter or springtime. As such, Easter eggs are common during the season of Easter tide. Easter tide? I've never heard that. In Christianity, they symbolise the empty tomb of Jesus. Though an egg appears to be like the stone of a tomb. The bird hatches it with life. Sorry. Uh, similarly, the egg for Christians is a reminder that Jesus rose... <coughs> From the grave and those who believe will also experience eternal life so basically it's the kind of like new life from like the tomb so it's almost like the road rising from the tomb um so yeah that's pretty much it um there is a video which i don't know if this one will upload before it because it's been lo loading for about five hours now uh and it's like seven minutes so i've got to have a look into that and see why it's taking so long but yes, thank you for watching. Uh, we'll have some more videos, Minecraft, etc., gaming. Obviously, we have a new intro as well, um, which you've probably seen at the beginning of this video. Uh, so we'll see you next time, guys. Um, so yeah, have a great Easter. Um, don't get too full on chocolate. And if you do, then good luck. Bye, guys.